Okay, good morning guys. We are back. Happy Monday with another day in the life of a data analyst. So today is pretty much a continuation of Friday's video or from Friday when I last um, vlogged. So far this morning, I've gotten out my reports that I send out every morning. One I haven't updated yet. That's the one with the duplicates. I adjusted my code, but I want I've adjusted my code and I've been manually running it in Teradata. However, I do have this job automated. I did not touch my code for the Porsche or so I have my code set in a tool that automatically runs it and sends out a report every day. I did not touch my code in that tool. I only just manually adjusted it within Teradata and I've been running it. And I think I told you guys like I um eliminated a field in the hierarchy so that it wouldn't cause the duplicates but I want to check the report to see the one that I didn't touch that code and see if it's correct then I can continue on using my automated report instead of manually running this every day so I'm just downloading the file because again it automatically I have it set to automatically send me out an Excel report wait a minute okay so it looked correct Okay, I don't see any duplicates. Let me do a conditional formatting just to make sure. Okay, so no duplicates, which is good. And I'm gonna compare the results to the last day I ran it. So from Friday, because I still have that, I need to I need to reboot my computer or I, I know they're gonna force me to do it, but I just wanna make sure that it closely matches the last time I pulled this data. Okay, so there's some minor changes, which is to be expected because the results are not finalized yet as close to final as we're gonna get I guess we could say um for for when I was in another position um when I was on another team doing data analytics um the data we would consider consider it final around the sixth of the month because you're not going to see much like people can make adjustments and changes and data can change for the prior month but we have to set a cutoff time and that's what I mean when I say final like a cutoff time like we're good typically you don't see very many changes on or after the fifth of the month unless there's again some major discrepancy in the system where we have to do, like restate data but typically for us for what I was doing the fifth six of the month we would finalize results and publish like results for the prior month however now being in doing data analytics for sales sales data does not finalize until a lot later in the month around the 20th is my understanding of the month is when data for the prior month is finalized because with sales there's a lot of things that can happen like take for example for the most recent holiday season a lot of companies have extended holiday return periods and if you return a product or cancel a service that goes against the prior month so it can impact all well, I don't want to say this is a blanket statement for Ever, all sales in every company and how they do their sales but if you return something it's going to hit prior month at least for the portion that I'm looking at it's going to hit prior month's results so if you bought a product in December and you're like oh let me return this in January it's going to show a negative for them for the month so yeah there's that so I guess it all the like this isn't for just a blanket statement for everything sales related just some of the things that I've been looking at like it can negatively impact them for the prior month or um, they can start the current in certain situations you can start the current month off in a negative if you have like a return or a cancellation so just how it is and then you have to make up that ground because if you're starting in the negative like yeah you got to catch up so there's that so I'm working on I, well so I need to I can go ahead and update this data because it looks I don't see any major changes from last week to this week so I can go ahead and refresh this report and um, I think the finalized oh my god <sighs> see like we're getting um I'm sorry like we're getting emails <laughs> about this hierarchy issue so yeah all right so let me go ahead and work on that and then also I am still continuing my Tableau certification training so that's why I have my headphones on I'm listening to that in the background while I'm also updating these results and um, I need to reboot my computer is giving me a warning I need to reboot so I need to save all my files and save all my work and then reboot but 
outside of that, I also need to pick back up working on my analysis where I was looking at December performance, looking at like our high, mid, low performers. But I also want to look at um, look at those employees performance for January month to date as well. I know we're only a few days into the month, but we can do like a forecast, like I can do a forecast to see what they're projected to do or like how they're projected to perform um, through the end of the month and compare that to what their current like December results are because again this data will not be final until about the 20th of January so I can compare what we have so far for January month to date look at what the forecast is and then compare that like are they trending to maintain are they going to drop performance because I, I want to December like the holidays is kind of like a difficult time like targets and things are different because it's the holiday season so you expect people to have a higher performance in January is one of those months where it's just like you expect things to drop off and it typically is a significant drop in my experience so that's not something that that's good for the business or good for employees but we'll see oh hold on who's messaging let me go I gotta um, message my manager she's messaging me so let me deal with that and I'll check back with you guys a bit later okay so a I guess kind of midday update I went to lunch I'm back now but well, we got an email about some data mismatching this is in this is regarding the um hierarchy change but it, but my data came back correct this morning so I'm like is there really a hierarchy issue? And they're saying like there was a high, this person is saying like, I know there was a change in the hierarchy, but you guys are, um, my results are being split instead of being combined. So I'm working through that because I'm like the file I ran, the file that's automated and ran this morning, it no longer had that location split. So I thought maybe there wasn't an issue, um, but it appears that maybe there was a hierarchy change and I'm not aware because this other dashboard that I have this person's um this is a totally different person but their results are split so that's what I'm digging into and researching trying to figure out what exactly is going on because again the other one it was split one day the next day it's back like the issue was resolved but I have no clues and again I haven't heard of there being any changes to the hierarchy but this person's saying there was a change to the hierarchy so maybe I'm just out of the loop and I need to find the email maybe it didn't come from the places we would normally get updates from so yeah that's what I'm in the process of doing trying to figure out what's going on in the hierarchy for this particular person because if it's impacting them it's impacting everyone that had a change so that's what I'm looking into for now and I haven't gone back to my um I haven't gone back to my training because I've just been trying to research and find out exactly what's going on with this um hierarchy like I swear y'all are probably tired I'm tired of hearing about a hierarchy change like how many times can we freaking change it like we just had a change in November that was backdated to October and now it looks like there's a change in January that went retroactive to December like can we please stop because it just messes with all of the reporting like and I reached out to like some like a BI manager that I work with in our fam finance team to find out from him if he's aware of a change because I wasn't and he's like no I haven't heard of any changes so again like if you're this is the one thing I don't like sometimes changes are made and no one's notified and it just messes up everyone's reports and we don't like we're not going in and checking dashboards every day like with my automated reports where they're like in a google sheet or an excel file those I glance over but I'm not going so far into detail with them I glance over them and see does anything look suspicious or odd and if not I update it and send it out that's like kind of what I did Friday I glanced over it I noticed that I had some duplicates so I was like okay I need to figure out what's going on modify my code so I don't have this discrepancy being sent out because please believe me if you send out wrong reporting people are going to tell you they're going to let you know which hence the emails we're getting now but we're both looking into it to try and figure out what's going on because we're not aware of there being any type of changes so we'll see i need to go do some more research on this and figure out what the heck is going on if you can't tell i'm over it already i'm gonna look up this particular and they never send you all the details either like where's hold on where's teradata studio i need to i need to get in the habit of using teradata studio i just go back to the old version all the time and it's it's no longer supported but <laughs> 
it's what I'm so comfortable using. All right, so what I'm gonna do is look up, I'm gonna look up the hierarchy for this um, employee, look up this employee in our hierarchy table to see if it shows a split like I saw Friday with the other, but that's not, wasn't present today. So let's see. So I'm gonna select the top 100 from where? Okay, so I need to get, let me run this small. All right, so we have this. Okay. Select. Okay, I need to, I need to join on two tables because the field names don't align. So I have to pull, to join on one field, I need to pull in another table that does have this column or field name. Okay, so I need to do a query that has three different tables in it. Hold on, does it have it? And I'm overlooking it. There's so many columns in here. Good Lord. Okay, never mind. It is in here. Okay, hold on. I think I overlooked it. EFD equals. Okay, I am trying to get this query together. I need to join to another table. I, and one of, we have several different hierarchy tables and they have different things. So the one field I was looking for, it is in the original table, but I need to join to another field in a different table so I'm in the process of getting that done and I need to save this little snippet of code once I actually complete it for the future in the event that we go through additional hierarchy changes god willing that the field names don't change but in the in one hierarchy table I don't see a, a change I don't like I don't see it so I'm gonna join it to another table and see so let's check that um, what does this table need? What do I need to join? Oh. Y'all, my, um, this is why I don't like Comcast internet. Um, my internet has been out for the last 20 minutes, so I haven't been able to get any work done. So that's why I ended this last clip. I don't I have no, I don't know why the internet's out. It's not, it's supposed to rain later today, but we don't have any rain or storms or anything going on now, so. I, I truly don't know why the internet is out, but it's out, so I can't really do anything. So I'm just waiting for the internet to come back on. I've already tried resetting the box. We got nothing. Um, so I think it's like a true outage. They've yet to send like a text or anything communicating that there's an outage, but yeah. So that's where I'm at. So I'm going to end the video here since I have no further updates and I have like an hour left of work. So. Hopefully it comes back in soon and I can finish off this query in trying to find out whether or not the um, there's been a change in the hierarchy. I have not seen anything so far in the table that I've checked, so we'll see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.